Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We are in the bathroom today, which can only mean one thing. We're gonna do some makeup, and we're gonna be comparing. It's gonna be like a first impression and a comparison all in one, which I don't like. We're doing a lot, but I'm so excited to try these and compare these to Foundations BB Cream. They're both from Amazon, but I have heard really, 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 really good things about one and also the other. But I've also heard that they're like very, very similar, like potentially almost the same thing. So I grabbed both and we're gonna try them both out on my face today, do like a side by side. I'll do a little bit of a wear test as well and we'll see if they like are as similar as people say they are, if one is better than the other. They're both also super affordable and like I said, they're on Amazon and everything's better if it's available on Amazon in my opinion. So we're gonna do a little like first impression, like comparison wear test. Like we're doing the most in this video, but I'm so excited to test these out. This first one I heard about mostly from Taylor Wynn. She's like obsessed with this. This is the Purito Clearing BB Cream. I got the shade number 15 Rose Ivory. So with this one, um, pretty much everything on the box is in um, like a completely different language. So I can't read much of what this says, but it says that it provides a healthy looking glow with flawless coverage. But of course it is a BB cream. So I'm expecting to have, you know, some coverage, but not like necessarily a full, full coverage kind of situation. Plus these are both so affordable. So I'll tell you the pricing comparison after I show you the other one but I really have high hopes for this especially because I'm definitely here for like the lighter coverage kind of situation I feel like that's also very trendy but my skin is doing pretty okay and obviously it's like the warmer weather months now and lighter coverage I feel like is what a lot of us are going for so I have high hopes for that one this one is like I said very similar but a little bit different this is the Misha perfect cover BB cream and I got the shade number 23 natural beige and this one um, does definitely have a little bit more English on it, but this says that this is a multifunctional BB cream. This one has SPF. Oh, this one is SPF 42. Does this one have SPF? I don't think this one does. So there's that. I didn't realize that was one of the differences. Um, and then this one is a brightening, wrinkle caring. Amazon and high coverage. So this one doesn't like it just says flawless coverage. It doesn't say high coverage I'm kind of expecting it to not be high coverage, but this one says that it is and again I've just heard these are very similar. Obviously the packaging is quite different This is just kind of like your basic squeezy tube fairly simple this one You know kind of gives me like the a cosmetic CC cream sort of vibes just because it has like the squeezy tube But with a pump and obviously like the little cap on it So definitely a little bit different in terms of packaging and I feel like this one has more product. Yeah, this one is 1.7 fluid ounces and this one just has like your standard one ounce of product so you're definitely getting more product with this one however this one's a little bit more pricey I believe I just checked and Amazon obviously changes their prices kind of frequently but this one is I believe 950 and this one's like 1150 so obviously a very negligible difference when it comes to the price difference like two dollars but you do get like I don't know almost double like this is very close to being two fluid ounces so for just like a couple more dollars you can get a lot more product plus this has potentially like depending on what you're into nicer packaging with the pump so I mean the fact that it costs a little bit more obviously makes perfect sense because you're getting more product and the packaging but otherwise they're you know in the same ballpark i'm hoping these colors are gonna like match fairly decently because i am going out to lunch with a girlfriend and her kids so i need to not look too too crazy today but i think we're just gonna jump in and compare them i was trying to decide because typically for my foundation videos honestly even if i'm not filming a video i always test a new foundation with a sponge and a brush just because i like to know which i prefer but since i feel like we can't really do that in this situation because i i don't feel like it would make sense to do like a quarter of my face and then a quarter of my face so i think what i'm gonna do is just use a sponge for both because that's just kind of what i've been more into lately but then i'm gonna test if they're buildable with a brush so i think that's what we're gonna do do so we can still kind of see the difference between a brush and a sponge and then also see if it's buildable kind of all at the same time so I'm so excited I really hope I don't end up looking crazy <laughs> at the end of this if these are like not as similar as I think or if the colors are not close my sponge is just like super stained but it's clean tell me if y'all have like a trick to like getting your sponges to not look dirty even when they're clean because I have yet to um, figure that out. So I'm gonna start with the Purito on this side just cause that's the side I was holding it on and we'll do the Misha or I don't know how you say this. I think it's Misha or it's Miss Ha on the other side. So like to be expected, it just has a very simple like squeeze top and some products already coming out. I also wanna try to be careful to use, you know, a similar amount of product on both sides. 
And let me zoom you in as well. I do have a bit of a self tan on, so we'll also have to see how these colors work in terms of um, like, you know, how they compare to my skin right now with the tan. And I will link, ooh, why does this smell like sunscreen? I feel like that smells like sunscreen even though it doesn't have SPF in it. I will link um, this sponge and the brush I use. I always link basically everything I talk about in my videos down below. Um, I can already tell I like this a lot. <laughs> I know I like just spread it out and I kind of need a mirror to see a little closer and obviously I didn't use any primer I feel like that kind of goes without saying when I'm testing out a new foundation But I don't have any primer or anything on my skin I honestly woke up not that long ago So my skin is very just natural how it would normally be and this is looking really smooth I mean, I feel like y'all can even tell do you see that like very uh, it's very natural looking in terms of like that's got a really nice healthy natural glow i wouldn't say it's like super natural in terms of the coverage because i honestly feel like it has some coverage like don't i just look super just evened out i wouldn't obviously say it's like high high coverage either i feel like you can still see my skin underneath it but it's looking very, very smooth, very even, and it looks like almost like blurred. Like it just looks very kind of like airbrushed. I can already see it like sinking into my smile line right here though. I keep like going over that to blend that out a little bit and my pores are not looking amazing. My pores have just been like bothering me lately, honestly. But this looks honestly like better than I was even expecting. I love the very like natural, it's not like dewy dewy, but it's got a very healthy like natural glow to it and it really doesn't look like I'm wearing much of anything like it looks like my skin is just really good <laughs> like I would probably consider this a medium coverage for sure and the color is nice the color is actually really really nice this is like a little bit of a worn off self tan like it's not super fresh so this is probably close to like a color I would normally be because I'm typically you know somewhere around the skin tone this looks really 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 good I'm actually so I'm so excited. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, so now I'm excited because I really want to see if this one is similar or if like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is just kind of everything right now. So if this is the same thing, oh, I scored it out kind of a lot. If this is the same, it will be, um, wow, this looks gray. Does this color not look like gray to you? Oh, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. This is like very, I don't even, I feel like I took too much product, but that is like very gray. I really don't know if you can tell on camera just how gray it's like very cool toned. So, okay. And this one's definitely f like fragranced, I think. I don't know. It doesn't smell like sunscreen like the other one. It smells like uh, almost like an intentional fragrance, which is weird because this one is the one that does have a sunscreen in it. It doesn't smell bad. I like the smell like floral or something like it has a pretty <laughs> smell if you can describe a smell as pretty i like it but i did want to mention that because obviously i know some people don't want fragrance in their you know products going on their skin all right that color really like had me worried to be honest but now that it's blended out it's not looking like a weird gray shade i've actually seen in some of the videos and reviews that i've watched that like this does not all the shades i'm sure maybe it's just like certain ones that it does like run kind of gray which is weird you don't really expect to like have the complexion products being like gray but i hope you were able to tell when i squirted it out it was definitely weirdly cool but now it's not looking cool at all oh my gosh this is are we getting like a very similar kind of situation right here i mean obviously i'm doing this video so i kind of expected them to be similar but at the same time i kind of doubted it because they're different brands and different products and all that kind of stuff so i was genuinely curious which is why i'm filming this i really wanted to like find out how similar they like actually could be okay so y'all are zoomed out a little bit more so you can see like the full the full effect i mean these are looking very, very similar on the skin. Honestly, I feel like I can't tell a huge difference. I do feel like there's a slight shade, like a very, very slight shade of difference. Like I, I feel like this side is a little warmer. I'm hoping you can tell as well. Like this side seems a little bit more like golden, like tan, warm. And this side seems a little bit cooler, potentially like a little almost like paler looking but in terms of like my actual comparing them to like my actual skin tone and my neck and stuff i didn't really drag them down i just kind of went under my chin they're both matching me very well even though i feel like there is a slight difference between the two i feel like they both look totally fine on my skin tone obviously i haven't done concealer or anything but i feel like how they look kind of head-on like even compared to each other there's not a wild shade difference i'm just like 
being nitpicky. I feel like they blend kind of seamlessly and they even blend seamlessly into each other like on my chin and you can't like tell I don't think there's no like clear <laughs> line. I never put foundation on my nose by the way because I wear glasses so I just never bother and I kind of like being able to see the freckles on my nose. I feel like it's like very seamless. You wouldn't be able to tell which side is which from the colors which is shocking. So I think I did a pretty good job at picking shades. I was honestly very torn with this one. There was a couple that I was torn between. So if you are like similar in skin tone to me I would definitely say the number 23 and then the number 15 rose ivory. I will have the shades listed in the description box as well. I think these would be like a good obviously pair for each other But also a pair for you and also the fact that they're not like a super high coverage product I feel like typically you can get away with the shade being slightly off because it's not super opaque on your face You can kind of play with the colors and like I think I'd still be able to wear both of these If that was a little bit more tan, but also a little bit more fair But the Misha one has like a very similar finish. It has like that really nice kind of healthy glow like if you're oily i think you would still be totally fine with this because it's not like a true like dewy dewy finish it just looks very healthy and natural i i love the finish and the coverage over here you can probably tell is really 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 good like this one does claim to be high coverage i don't know that it's high coverage here is you zoomed in a little bit i have like you know discoloration around kind of like my chin and mouth area and like you know just a little bit of just like normal discoloration on my cheeks so i wouldn't consider this to be like high or full coverage but it's definitely medium and i think we'll probably will be able to build it up we're gonna do a quick another little layer on both sides so i think i would probably consider both of these to be medium coverage but a really really nice <laughs> medium coverage like look how smooth and just even my skin looks i'm really liking this and i was actually just touching my face and they have both set down to like, I would call this a powder finish. It honestly feels like there's nothing on my face right now at all. Like at all. Which is also really nice, again, for like the summer months. If you want like a really low maintenance product, ones that set down on their own are like way lower maintenance. Because if you like to not set your face, you don't need to worry about it. If you just want to like throw this on and like literally bounce, you don't need to worry about it like sliding all over your face or just like being uncomfortable and tacky. Typically foundations that set down are also a little more transfer resistant than obviously ones that stay more dewy and tacky and creamy. And they both feel the same. So I'm seriously feeling like the formula of these is nearly identical. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit, we're gonna go back to the Purito side. I'm just gonna put like a little bit more on a brush and just kind of build it up sort of in the, I guess like the cheek area. I feel like that's the easiest place to kind of test it out. Maybe I'll do a little on my chin just to see if we get a little bit more coverage, if it starts looking heavy, if it blends okay. Sometimes I worry because like it does set down to a powder finish and now I'm putting more foundation, like another obviously like liquid cream product on top of it. Sometimes I wonder if it's going to lay and blend okay. You know, since it's kind of set down already, like is it gonna be kind of weird when you put more cream on top of the like powdery finish? All right, so I'm pretty much just dragging what's on my brush basically everywhere. I will have this brush linked down below as well, like I said. And this is definitely, definitely building for sure. It looks much much more full coverage i mean like i said it was already like a medium coverage before so it's not like it's going from like light to full it built up for sure and it's not looking i really like have a serious smile line right here like i feel like i have barely been wearing this foundation and it's already creasing right there the misha side doesn't seem to be obviously i only have the one coat over here but this side doesn't seem to be creasing as much it's definitely settling in like a tiny bit over here i don't know if you'll be able to tell but this one is pretty defined over here it's like it's a little bit noticeable but not anything crazy i just got a phone call so we had to take a really quick break but this is looking a little more makeup-y that's one thing i will say like i feel like now that i added that second layer you can probably tell it looks fine like it's not like sitting on my skin i don't think it looks bad or anything at all i actually think it looks really good but it's definitely looking a little bit less you know natural i feel like you can just see the makeup-y look so i don't really mind that honestly like if i'm wearing makeup i don't really 
care that you can tell that I'm wearing makeup but if you are going for like a true BB cream kind of look where you want it to look like really kind of lightweight and a little bit more natural building this probably isn't going to maintain that more natural look but it does definitely give you more coverage so if you are someone that kind of likes to be able to manipulate your products which I really like products that can do both like if I just want to throw it on and feel comfortable with it and like feel like my skin looks nice obviously I love that but also knowing that I can like use a second layer and do a little bit more and have a little more coverage especially if I'm having some problem areas or if I'm just like doing more of a full-on look kind of thing I like having products that can do both and this one definitely seems to be that I mean everything looks completely covered at this point obviously <laughs> my under eye circles I feel like are so bad right now I haven't been getting a lot of sleep because have a baby so <laughs> I feel like enough said and between the two sides I feel like you can also see a slight coverage difference nothing like too crazy again because these are both like a pretty solid medium coverage it's nothing like crazy I seriously cannot get over how smooth these look so I just put again a tiny bit of the Misha one on my brush and we're just going to stipple this on in kind of the same areas I really feel like you can probably even tell here yeah See how it looks like when it's still kind of wet? Very, very cool toned, kind of gray. But you can tell, I'm glad I did that because I feel like you could tell the color difference from obviously the product under it that's been sitting on my face and has been kind of blended in and it's set. This definitely is a different color when it first comes out and when you first apply it than it is once it kind of like settles into your skin, blends out, maybe like it needs to set down a little bit. I don't know if it's oxidizing a tiny bit or anything, but it definitely seems like the color changes. So <laughs> don't freak out like I, I mean, I didn't freak out, but don't <laughs> panic when you see if you do purchase these shades or I don't know if the other shades of this are also similarly like cool, cool, cool toned and grayish. Don't freak out if you see that because it definitely seems like, I mean, you can already tell. Once you blend it out, it looks way more <laughs> normal. So there is the second coat. Y'all, these are the same thing. I don't have an answer for that. It's the same exact situation. Like it's looking, you can tell, a little bit more makeup y, a little bit heavier looking. My pores really need help. And it's definitely like a full coverage kind of situation. I feel like all over here, you know, where I have like a little bit of discoloration and texture. I mean, I have this little spot over here that's not fully covered, but honestly, I don't like focus a ton of product back here since I just like obviously put bronzer and stuff like that and I can spot conceal on a regular basis. I'm not going to spot conceal today because we want to see what the actual foundation looks like. But I feel like it's covering basically everything that I would want for it to be covering. This is to me like for my purposes and like just in my opinion this is like a perfectly full coverage foundation. And do you like tell the difference? Like can you tell which is which? Obviously you know which is which but I feel like looking at me like from side to side they have like the same level of glow, the same coverage, they are the same shade. And yeah, that second layer is already setting down. I was afraid the second layer was gonna stay tacky. Now that it's been another, you know, 30 seconds, it's completely set. Crazy, I love this. I love this look, honestly, like having both obviously is probably unnecessary, at least so far. We're gonna keep testing it out and see how they wear. And obviously I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and we'll kind of like compare if they still continue to be so similar because things could definitely change over time. Off the bat, I really don't feel like I have a preference, honestly. I think they're both, like this one just freaked me out because of the gray tone, but I love that this one A has more product and B has the pump. I'm leaning towards this one. If you wanna save a couple bucks, this this one obviously would be a great option too. So I'm impressed y'all. Like I'm genuinely, I really didn't know if this was going to go how I expected it to go. So I'm going to quick just finish getting ready. I'm going to do just something kind of quick and easy and simple. And then we will hop back on just to like see how it went with powder and concealer like using products over top of it. And then I will check back in later on and I'll show you a natural lighting as well. But then we'll also do a check in to see if they're actually the same in terms of like wear and all that. Okay, we are back. Y'all this is looking so so good i actually just went and jumped in front of the window right here to show y'all in like more of a natural light setting and i think it looks even better in natural light than it does you know kind of with this more like studio artificial light kind of setup it looks 
so 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 good like i didn't put any highlighter on by the way i literally just did powder blush bronzer and then a little bit of something something on my eyes and my brows i purposely didn't want to add like anything illuminating just so we could see how it looked underneath powder i pretty much always use the airspun loose translucent powder just because it doesn't add any color or any coverage it literally just sets it down and i know i said you probably didn't need to set this foundation i just like have to set my foundation i literally cannot like go throughout my day without my foundation being set i don't even think this is one that would like move around on your face or anything like i said it really felt like it had already been powdered but i just have to do like a light dusting i honestly don't use very much so i think if you prefer not to or if you kind of like don't really care one way or the other you could totally skip the powder in this situation but even though i did powder my face i still feel like we have and you can see in the natural lighting clips i feel like we still have a really nice finish going on it still looks a little bit dewy it's got like this very, very, very subtle, like natural glow. It's definitely not matte by any means, but it's also, like I said, not glowy. I love just the very subtle, very natural, healthy glow that it has. So, so pretty. And honestly, you can probably tell everything blended so 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 well over top and I did not spot conceal at all I literally just put it under my eyes and on my lid as like a primer for my eyeshadow but I didn't put concealer anywhere else on my face you know sometimes there can be like some separation or like weirdness if products don't mesh well together everything looks so so good over top of these products and I feel like especially now that my full face is done we have a real kind of like full coverage look like if you wanted to do like a full-on glam like lashes and liner and like really go in this is the kind of base you could do this with this is looking so good and genuinely I feel like these are looking identical like I said other than the creasing they're looking more or less the same i think especially again now that my full face is done but genuinely i don't think you'd be able to tell a difference if you like met me in person right now and i really i really can't notice a difference either which is just so crazy these are two completely separate products from two completely different brands and they look and feel and match this well it's kind of crazy i'm so excited i've tried a lot of foundations lately and this might be honestly one of my favorites and i've tried a lot that i've really really liked but there's something about the finish of these just how like natural and smooth it's almost like naturally blurring i really feel like my skin looks kind of like airbrushed and perfected and honestly all the other foundations i've tried recently are high-end like all of them i've tried like four new high-end foundations recently and these like very 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 inexpensive amazon products i feel like are giving them a run for their money i'm genuinely so surprised and impressed with how everything is looking right now can't get over it so like i said we are going to continue to test these out like i said i'm gonna go meet up with my girlfriend i think we're gonna be outside it's not like crazy hot or anything today it's in the 70s so i'm not probably gonna be like super sweaty but i am gonna have the baby and we are gonna be in the sun so i guess we'll see and i guess that is something to mention if that like super super matters to you the fact that this is spf and this one doesn't i think is a little bit noteworthy but i don't think it's like a deal breaker because obviously you can just put some SPF underneath your foundation. But if you do like to have SPF in your products, I guess that's like the only thing to keep in mind. I feel like you would probably lean towards this one for that reason too, not just because of the additional product and the really nice packaging, but also because of the SPF. Like that might also put this one maybe a little bit more in the lead compared to the Purito one. But so far, first impression, they are basically the same thing and they are amazing like so good i'm so excited to like rock these all day because i'm just i'm feeling really good about how my face looks how my skin looks so i will check in with y'all a little bit later i don't know how many hours it will be because i don't really know exactly what my day is gonna look like but i will check in with y'all a little bit later and we'll see hopefully everything stays as good as it is right now hello we are here for a little check-in i got like a cute special guest with me we were at the park for a while like i mentioned so we've been outside and then we did a little contact nap and it's been um over six hours you can come in you like his foundation that looks yeah. really natural i can hold it tell yeah it should we do a zoom in and see how it's looking on you baby i'm a little dewy a little dewy see he knows the tomes you gotta learn the tomes I will go. I was gonna ask you what oh. you think of my foundation today. Did I even tell you what I was doing? Nope. Okay, well, what do you think of it? I don't know, it seems a little cakey. Is it a little heavy? Yeah. Okay. There's a lot, so many creases and texture. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell him any of these things. I have uh, smile lines, right? Is that what you're looking at? Like, like crow's feet and like on your... Oh no, he's just talking about my wrinkles. Aboo! Aboo, baby! Aboo! 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 Okay. okay. <laughs> He's gonna take the baby downstairs. Obviously you heard he, I think my husband's like extra sensitive to like 
heavy makeup like I feel like he notices very easily if your makeup either like isn't the right shade or is like kind of heavy we have a light bulb that is flickering so sorry if you noticed that <laughs> he needs to replace that but like I said on that second layer I did feel like it got a little bit like cakier and heavier looking but again I'm like asking him to like analyze my foundation I feel like normally most people wouldn't be looking like that closely at your foundation because I don't think it looks particularly heavy like super cake face but it looks a little heavier and cakier whatever word you want to use than it did with the first layer so I think building it up kind of like he said definitely makes it look a little bit heavier and less natural so I don't think for my purposes like going forward I would probably do that because I liked the coverage how it was with just the one layer but I don't think it looks bad or anything you really can't this always happens like every single time I test the foundation my son especially when he nurses is always like rubbing my chin and grabbing my chin so you can't really like count like this whole area of my face because like no foundation is gonna stand up to that however if you do know of any foundations that like are extremely like transfer resistant and like will last through like rubbing and stuff definitely comment down below because i would love to know and like test it out but on the rest of my face i feel like it is looking still really really good i still feel like i have a nice like natural glow here's the forehead i mean obviously it's like sinking into my forehead creases there's definitely a good amount of creasing over here obviously this is the purito side and again i feel like it's a little bit less over here i feel like it's still looking really really good like when i look in the mirror and catch myself in the mirror i still think it's looking really really nice and it feels really lightweight too like even though it looks a little heavy it doesn't feel heavy and I just asked my husband I had already turned the camera off I asked him if like he noticed the difference between the two sides and he said no so the fact that he didn't even notice that I'm wearing two like completely different products in like different shades different brands and everything I feel like that's like a true testament at least to like how these are looking how they apply the finish the color all of that and I feel like they're wearing basically the same too they're seeming like they're almost identical so so far i'm still really 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 enjoying this but i will check it one more time at the end of the night and we'll see if i'm still liking it by then we are back it is at the end of the night it's actually been just about 12 hours since i first put this on so this is like a pretty serious wear test honestly my concealer is not looking good at all i don't know if y'all be able to tell obviously this is not like the best lighting situation i feel like my concealer is <laughs> looking really rough but my face looks good i still am really happy with how it's looking considering it's been 12 hours i feel like what i'm like noticing the most is just like how like dewy it is in just such a healthy natural way like i love how my forehead looks and i love the shade like i feel like this shade is so perfect for me right now like it's not a stark contrast to my neck at all i literally feel like this is my perfect shade situation i don't think any of the foundations that i've purchased recently are as good of a fit as this one is obviously they match each other really well the wear has honestly been really really good i mean it doesn't look super fresh and brand new obviously and i feel like you can really tell like there's basically nothing right here but that's all coal honestly so i feel like it's kind of hard to do like genuine true wear tests considering i have a baby that like purposely removes my complexion products throughout the day but if you like ignore the part of my face which is not the foundation's fault i feel like, like everything looks good like my blush and bronzer are still like looking really nice i still have a nice like very subtle glow like remember i don't have any highlighter on at all like anything illuminating not a base like not a primer nothing and i'm not oily at all i probably should have said that in the beginning of the video i feel like i've done so many foundation videos lately that i've been saying it a lot but i have like very very normal skin if anything it leans a little bit dry and i like how it looks i feel like it looks very natural i'm very comfortable in this and i've enjoyed wearing it i'm like very excited to reach for it again i feel like that's kind of how you can tell if you really like the product is if you're like excited to use it again i definitely am looking forward to trying it like different ways i'm saying it obviously there's two but I feel like in my mind they're kind of one product like i'm almost forgetting that i'm trying two different products because they're literally like exactly the same but i'm looking forward to trying each of them like just with a brush first instead of a sponge first like just playing with it and trying them with different primers and kind of just like experimenting with different like ways to apply them but i really think they're pretty much the same so like i said i kind of talked about like, the pros and cons of each one and i think overall i would say just because you get more product and i like the packaging and the spf on the misha one i feel like that's the one i would go with plus i feel like the purito i might just have like a more intense smile line over 
over here but I feel like that one just creased a tiny bit more but if you like the packaging or like the color or undertone or like shade selection or the fact that it's a little more affordable of the Purita one I feel like you'll be pretty much just as happy with that option I kind of don't think you can go wrong but I really definitely like recommend trying these out like the fact that they're on Amazon they're so so affordable they're on like prime shipping and I think they're so nice like I feel like these products are comparable to like higher-end products honestly and I've only been trying high-end foundations lately and the fact that I'm liking these like so much honestly more than some of the higher-end ones that I've tried recently says something and this one comes with like double the product of most of those two so across the board I think these are like such winners I'm gonna keep both of them because now I'm like so obsessed with them I feel like I'm gonna be wearing the crap out of these especially all summer long because I just feel like the color is gonna work for the most part and it's just so nice and lightweight I'm just so excited to keep wearing these and experimenting with them and this is probably one of my favorite like just makeup products I've tried in a little while which is kind of surprising to say especially for the price like I feel like for the price you cannot beat how well these wear and how nice they look and all of that I feel like this is a really good bang for your buck so I hope that you guys enjoyed I hope this was helpful of course everything that I've mentioned in this video will be linked down below for y'all to check out for usual thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed if you would like to subscribe we would love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time I will see y'all in our next video bye guys